so hello everyone uh, welcome to this new video so in this video we have an expression that is y is equal to a plus b into c plus d okay so this is the expression for this i'm going to draw as i've told you in my starting only that uh, i'm going to draw the logical uh, cmos circuits designs using pseudo nmos logic uh, then we am going to draw using uh, dynamic cmos then uh, c square mos logic and cvsl logic okay using these four logics let us try to draw this expressions circuit diagrams okay so first let us start with pseudo nmos so for pseudo nmos we have studied that if we have n inputs we should be using n plus 1 transistors so totally we are using five inputs here and transistors are 5 plus 1 that is six transistors in case of pseudo nmos right so based on that let us draw the pseudo nmos circuit so i have told you right in the vdd pull up part we are having only one pmos transistor and that gate terminal is permanently connected to ground okay and from here we are checking the output and for the pull down part the nmos logic you should be applying that is a plus b so a plus b so that's why those two would should be in parallel into c so a and b into c so it should it should be in series plus de so again it's getting added so from here it should be taking one more parallel branch and d and e should be in series okay d e so this is the complete circuit diagram of pseudo nmos logic for five inputs so here you see here we have used p mos transistor one p mos transistor and five nmos transistor so totally six transistors we have used for this pseudo nmos so now the same same expression let us draw using dynamic cmos okay for dynamic cmos again five inputs so we have studied that we are using we are using n plus 2 transistors that is 5 plus 2 7 transistors right so seven transistors are used here so let us draw it first vdd part one pmos and here i first i'll draw one nmos transistor and these two terminals are shorted and one common five clock signal is taking and in uh, here we are checking the output y and in between this we are drawing the nmos logic right so let us draw the same logic here again that is a plus b in parallel then this whole branch in series with c then here we have d e okay so this is the diagram of dynamic cmos logic for the same expression okay so here we have used five inputs and seven transistors 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 with one clock signal so now let us draw this using clocked cmos logic clocked cmos the same expression that is a plus b into c plus d e okay so here clocked cmos one changes it is same as cmos only complementary cmos but between the outputs you should be adding one clock signal that is one pmos and nmos transistor okay so let us draw that first vdd then the pmos part pull up part a plus b so these two should be in series pmos transistors into c so that's why from this branch only you should be taking one parallel pmos then from here this is a series with d and e so it is these are getting uh, multiplied so you should be having one more d and e in parallel okay so this is in the pull up part now here we should be adding one more pmos transistor and one nmos transistor according to the c square mos logic from from here you should be taking the output and now in the pull down part you should be drawing the nmos tra transistor that is a and 
B in parallel into C that is in series plus D and E in series okay so this is the C square MOS logic circuit for the expression A plus B into C plus D E okay so here this is one uh, we have included here one thing that is clock signals okay one P MOS and one N MOS okay so this was about clock CMOS so we have one more important uh, circuit that is CVSL that is cascaded voltage shift logic let us see that so for CVSL you should be using two two PMOS gate cross coupled transistors so let us use that first this is VDD and from here you should be using two cross coupled PMOS transistors and one should be connected here one should be connected here okay so one input is uh, F bar or Y bar or one is F okay so in this way the connection is taking place here we should be drawing the both sides should be drawing the NMOS transistor logic but one should be opposite to that of other okay so here first let us draw for F that is the simple NMOS so A plus B so these two would be in parallel into C so it would be in series plus D E so parallel and one more is from here the same thing with only the complement but using NMOS only okay the same PMOS structure you should be drawing but we should be using that PMOS structure you should be drawing using NMOS transistor so A and B here it is parallel so here it should be in series that is the inputs are A bar and B bar and here this should be in parallel that is C bar these two should be in parallel that is D bar and E bar okay totally this should be in series because this was in parallel so this is the diagram of CVSL using this expression okay so hope it is clear so these were the logic the circuit diagrams for all uh, for this expression using uh, these four uh, type of circuits so hope it is clear so that's all for the video guys and that's all for the module so module 4 is also completed so we have left with only one module uh, in the VLSI that we are going to do it in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Keep supporting and keep watching our videos. Okay. That's all. Thank you.